everyone. Welcome back to another video. Uh, finally got the sisters out the house. Hallelujah. So now it's just me and my mama and my daddy. And possibly little brothers popping in and out like a piece of popcorn. Um, and the poppers. Yeah, so finally got the yum box in. We are looking forward to doing more DIY videos. Um, I'm still looking forward to doing that chocolate fountain dipping experimentations. Um, we are going to try and find um, some recipes to recreate the famous butter beer from the Harry Potter world. Deliciousness. So, uh, yes, looking forward to those. And there's some other stuff I have written down, but I can't remember right now. Okay, so let's get parted. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Where's the phone? <laughs> so, <laughs> this box is from Greece. I feel like... Um, well, it shouldn't be too different from what we've had. I've been seeing some similar stuff, but, um, anywho, yes, uh, so let's get started. Okay, so first, we have roasted garlic bread chips. Tortoise seems to be a popular brand. Like brand. Or Lay's. Tortoise. You need to be careful with that. I almost said titties. <laughs> Very careful with that. Finally, garlic bread you can snack on. Well, you know what? Not really, because I tried garlic bread potato chips from Lay's, and they were deliciousness until they went off the market. But, excuse me, I'm not finished. Just eat it. Just eat it. Stop. It smells very garlicky. That definitely tastes like garlic bread. That was kind of good. That would be great with cheese. That would just taste like garlic bread. But that's good. Put it on a plate with some cheese and stuff. That'd be good. Those are good. Those are good. Not too hard, but definitely dry and nice. Thank you. Nice. I already got this. Got hands off. Come on. You know how this goes by now. That was a little dry. Chuck, chuck. Uh, you probably know that garlic is good for your body. <clears throat> but did you know it's good for your soul, too? Let us explain. In Greece, there's a widespread belief that bad luck can be caused simply by receiving a malicious glare. Yes, of course, an evil eye. Um, locals aptly call this phenomenon evil eye. Ha ha, called it. Or mati. Never heard that before. How do they protect themselves with a special evil eye neutralizing amulet or garlic? Um, oh, okay. Well, we've definitely had the evil eye on us from when we were little. Um, it was like a pin when we were baby, and we probably had, like, bracelets and necklaces and stuff ever since after that. But, anywho. Folks keep garlic cloves in their pockets or handbags and hang them above entryways in their homes and businesses. I feel like they stretch this to use against vampires. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like, okay, or are we warding off vampires here? Yeah. We prefer a slightly tastier tactic. Munching on these oh. extra crunchy bread chips coated in pungent garlic seasoning. That's not that strong. Oh, those are legit, though. Yeah, but the holes are pretty big. Like, what, what's up with the holes? <laughs> it's a donut chip. Um, don't do that. Oh, come on. Next. Um, you are the opener of the bag. Like, squeeze me. Um... Peanuts and hazelnut puffs, which I don't understand this because on the bag right here it says corn puffs. And nowhere in there, even in the little breaking down of the title thing, roasted peanut or hazelnut. Why not both? I'm like, you don't mention anywhere that it says corn puffs right there. Yeah, but it's it has peanuts in here and hazelnuts. Okay, in. yeah, so why does it say corn puffs? Because they're actual corn puffs and they're tossed in like a syrupy thing to make them... I don't know. See? Give me, oh my gosh, that smells like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Instantly. Oh, big time peanut butter. Uh huh. Look like a peanut puff. Oh my god. You instantly you get peanut butter. Mm-hmm. No hazelnut. Sticks, to your, sticks no, to your roof like peanut butter. I'm not getting hazelnut at all, dude. That's all peanut butter. Yeah, a little salty. Um. So. What if these nut puffs had healing powers? That's well, too, that's pretty stupid. It's a little too hard to snack. According to 
<clears throat> Dioscorus, a famous Greek physician and author of Millennia Spanning Medical Journal. They do. For a nasty cough, he prescribed a mixture of hazelnut and honey for colds, cooked hazelnut and pepper. He even created a cure for baldness by <laughs> smearing a paste of charred hazelnut and animal fat on receding hairless across Greece, hairlines across Greece. Lovely. Ew. These puffs might not do anything for your luscious looks, or lack thereof, but with an addictive crunch, they're our go-to remedy for a rumbly tummy. Mm. Okay, poo. Let's stick to your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> okay, next. Almond baklava, or baklava. Keep that off the camera. Blocking your face. Excuse me. I will do as I please. Don't be. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> what? 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 Okay, move on. Read. Um, you are holding the concoction, madam. I did read about it. Oh I'm my gosh. Open the bloody thing. Greece's nutty take on the flaky <laughs> classic. When exploring Greece. There are a few things you must do. See the Parthenon, soak up the sun on a white sand beach, oh, and try so baklava. Sticky. Sorry, we don't make the rules. We just happily abide by them. It's got a big drip of syrup on it. Oh, ew. Yeah, that, it's like that looks so like. Blah, blah, blah. So, why is baklava sticky. a must? Well, you'd be hard pressed to find a single oh. Greek celebration, be it a wedding, holiday dinner, or birthday party, without a platter of syrupy, centuries old sweet oh, front yeah. and center. Oh, I just dripped it all over the table. Please, it's got okay. so much syrup. Look, it's falling off my finger. <laughs> okay, don't get on my computer. Um, yes, okay. And it never gets boring, as there are tons of different variations to choose from. Oh, yes, there are. There's corcovina, corcovina. I've so never heard that before. The itty bitty bite sized variety, ketafi. I've never heard that either. Uh, the kind made with stringy shredded phyllo dough and even oh yeah, I know what that is. Seragli. Yeah, I know, but I've never heard these names before. They're, they're Greek names. Which is clearly Not baklava right. rolled up like a mini burrito. But okay, the problem is, is this has been sitting in the syrup. It's all to to nick our Greek advent, Greek adventure into high gear. We've brought you the one and only original, flaky as ever, and filled with honey, oh yeah, honeyed almond. <laughs> Be sure to savor it, like seeing the Parthenon or sitting on a spectacular oh, Greek similar. beach. You'll never forget your first time tasting Greek baklava. Oh, I'm sure okay, I will. The only problem is that it's been sitting in syrup. So the 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 phyllo dough is not flaky, but it definitely has the layers, just like baklava. But it's not crispy because it's been sitting in the syrup. You know how ours is crispy on top. Yeah. And this would be too. As artificial. No. I mean, it has a taste. Not, not too much honey for me. Well, the Greek honey. one does use honey a lot. Oh yeah. But it's definitely sticky all over. I don't want that. Yeah, it's like the phyllo dough is just soaked in the honey. I don't, I don't like it. It's not crispy on top like if it was fresh, obviously, because oh. it's packaged. I'm just a spice of like, oh peppermint God. or some shit in here. Like, what is that? Mm -mm. Some spice? Like, what the hell? I'm good, dog. What are you talking about? Mm -mm. I don't like that at all. All I know is my table is all sticky now. Okay. Ugh. Blood mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't like that. All right, that was a mess. I know what the mistake is, what that was. Blah, blah. Okay, that was good for the soul. Um, I say, hell no. This is Everyday Eats of Greece. We have almond milk puppies. The soft, rich, and creamy treat from Athens. Athens? Athens. Athens? Okay. There's a reason the ancient Romans called almonds nut grace. 
Oh, not the I don't know. Greek nuts. If Greeks aren't picking almonds straight from the tree, almonds come from a tree? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the tree as a snack. Okay, the only problem is that the wax paper stuck to the top taffy yeah. or whatever it is. They're savoring them as any other meal of the day. Maybe it's during, yeah, during a breakfast of glucomedes. Oh my gosh, stop having these difficult words. Donut balls topped with ground almonds. <laughs> um, balls. Okay. Or afternoon appetizer of scordala. Creamy almond and garlic dip. Um, or a sweet dessert of baklava. I can pronounce that one. Like the, <laughs> the one in your box. Even candy has got the almond treatment. So feel free to eat these chewy yums any time of day. Really, you'd only be immersing yourself deeper in the local culture. Okay, well, there's only two, so calm down. Execute! Why is it so sticky? Because it's melting in my hand. Why? I don't know. It just is. I've been waiting for you to take it. Oh Here, my. give me the other half. It's supposed mm, to be almond? Not bad. I don't know what it tastes like. At least it's not sticky like toffee. It's soft. Like a caramel. But it doesn't stick. Mm. Mm. Not bad. I don't know what that tastes like, but... Maybe it's almond, but I don't know. No, yeah, it doesn't taste like almond. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what that is. Already mm. in. Maybe it's more like a liqueur or something. I don't know. I don't know, but it's really soft. It's yummy. Coco and vanilla croissant. What? Oh. Two classic flavors in one uber flaky pastry. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? Yeah, yeah. That may be true in the U.S., but in Greece, breakfast is pretty much non-existent. Oh my gosh, let me move to Greece. I hate breakfast. Bre breakfast. Save for a cup of coffee. Okay. They have coffee instead. That's what this one has instead. Okay. Maybe you should move there too. It might be that locals are still stuffed from the night before, since dinner typically happens at 9 or 10 p.m. Whoa. But whatever the reason, don't fret too much. Greek folks still enjoy at 11 a.m. snack called kolatsio. That's where this flaky croissant filled with gooey chocolate and vanilla cream comes in perfectly. It might be a little sweet for the first thing in the morning, but 11 a.m., count us in for kolatsio. Let's see if it has chocolate and cream in the middle. Yes, it does. Doesn't look as nice in the picture. Does. Because I can only see bread. No, it's cream oh. and chocolate. <clears throat> but the picture looks a lot nicer. It's like it's creamy and full. Well, boy. This is like, there's the cream oh. and there's oh. the chocolate. And I don't think there's any more after the first bite. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I guess there's a little bit more. Push it out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. No. Mm, I mean, it's, it's not. I mean, the croissant's like not a tr real croissant. No, yeah, I know. It's like I'd prefer like that in a thick. in a real flaky one. That's just bread. I mean, the filling is not creamy and light. It's like pudding. I don't. Thick. I don't like it. It's I like don't care pudding. for it. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Not a, good choice. a tour of Greece. I'm not enjoying the tour so far, so uh, sorry to disappoint. Excuse me. Paprika and tomato potato chips. Also from Tatis. <clears throat> Garden fresh tomato meets smoky paprika. You have one person to thank for these chips. Oh, God, Ooh, here we go. Stinks. Ionis Capotes Trias. <laughs> Grease is burnt. Okay. <laughs> Do that. Keep reading. Let's go. Uh, if you don't choke me first. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Be professional. Wait. Okay. You know you can eat. Like, what the hell? Like, God, stop pushing me when you try to choke me and yet you say that. Like, yeah, real funny. Let me stick this up your nose and make you choke while you read. Okay. Now funny. continue reading. That's the chest. The test. <laughs> <laughs> the chest test. 
It's funny. Greece's first prime minister. Uh, convinced that the potato was the key to boosting the economy, he started giving them away for free in 1929. Here you go, free. <laughs> when the public didn't see the appeal, he hatched a new plan. He had armed guards to protect the next potato shipment as it arrived in Nafplion? No, no, no. I've never heard of that place yeah, before. Nafplion. Locals believed the potatoes to be valuable. Wait, what? To be valuable. Okay, what? this doesn't make sense. Oh, okay, sorry, comment. Started stealing them, and before long, the potatoes spread countrywide. Ingenious, right? Almost as ingenious as, say, pairing potato chips with tomato and smoky green paprika. Not really. Will you stop? Jeez. Maybe you need your ring glasses. No, nope, I don't like that. Why'd you put the whole thing in your mouth? Nope. But it tastes like meat. Mmm. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it tastes like a. It tastes like, like pork. It tastes like yeah, like bacon. Like yeah, that's literally bacon. what I got. I'm like, no, nope, huh? I'm not eating that. That's weird. Why? Yeah. Why does everything taste like pork? What is with you and pork, people? I mean, the smoked paprika is like smoked why like is, something. Uh, literally, what? And why does this keep freezing up? Like making me think that I'm. If this video gets messed up, I swear. Maybe you need your glasses to read better. What? Maybe you want your glasses to read better. Uh, no, thank you. I need this camera out of my damn sight. I wish it wouldn't be like salty and chocolate and sweet and sour and uh, just like put them all into the Okay. Oh. Mm. Maybe mm. she don't try to choke me again. Come on, girl. Grape must must coloria. They like their holes. Let me see. Mouse to coloria. Oh, why did I keep saying I? Mouse to coloria. Grape oh, must. Cookie. Mousticolora cookie. There we go, I got it. Mousticolora. <laughs> Mousticolora cookie. What did you say? Oh my god, okay. it's huge. Greek, Greek <laughs> pressed grapes <laughs> in a soft ring cookie. Is it a cookie or a cake? It looks like a cake. It's a, it's a soft, big, big ass cookie. Boom, boom. Mm. Excuse me, you are dropping crumbs everywhere. Mom! Come on, my computer, you little tit. No, it was on the book. Um, no, you're dropping it on me. It smells like it has tons of cinnamon. You want to smell? No, I did not. You're trying to choke me again. I asked. Uh, folks don't often use the word musty, ew, to describe good things. Usually basements or socks. But we found the exception. These soft cinnamony cookies are meant to be musty. Ew. <laughs> They're made with literal grape must. Grape must? What the hell is grape must? Maybe a it's a thick mixture made up. I'm about to explain. <laughs> she holds <the> fat. <laughs> a thick mixture made up of the freshly pressed juice, skins, mm -hmm. seeds, and stems of the grape. Usually prepared as the first step of winemaking. Fortunately, the must made in the northern Greek city in Kilkis doesn't get turned into wine. It's used to make this traditional mustacolora cookie and absolute an absolute must for any visit to greece okay here you go okay can you break off a little piece i don't want to bite that much oh, you want me to cut it i want to yeah, people like, to see how soft it's like dense but soft you know what i mean like i don't want to not even that much i don't want to eat it's like dense oh my gosh I'm up. <laughs> okay nobody understood that it's <laughs> falling everywhere. Oh my god. They're so messy. Hold on, I gotta put it away. Okay. Mm mm. I don't want that. Oh jeez. Making a mess everywhere. Oh my god, it's super dry. <laughs> oh. Grease, you have bad taste in everything. What's oh. wrong with you? Don't you ever eat? It's super dry, like. <laughs> Like, you have it challenge, like, eat the whole cookie and see if you can whistle. <laughs> I can't get it off my teeth and my oh tongue. Oh, my God, this stuff is disgusting. What's wrong no, with you people? Bad. I don't get grapes out of it, but it's just yeah, freaking, that's horrible. freaking dry cookie. Okay. Ugh. Uh. Hold on. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Uh oh. Here we come. Make sure he knows. Hmm. Hey, Dad. Uh oh. Come on. Oh. Bad it. She's recording. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Will you stop? Oh my oh, gosh. Are you doing it for me? No, she's recording. Oh. Okay, like it's time. We're not on a time thing. Like, jeez. Uh, okay. Drizzled milk chocolate wafer. Oh, yes. Grease's version uh, at a better Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah, I'll be the judge of that, son. So far, your stuff has been nasty. Obsessed with wafers? Get excited. Grease is where wafers were invented. Mm. What? Back in 146 BC, Athenians <laughs> cooked them by pouring batter between two hot plates like an ancient waffle iron and topping the finishing wafers called obilias with herbs and cheese. To see how, ew, to see how far Greek wafers have come since then, just take a bite of this yum. Okay, you went from cheese to chocolate, so um, yeah, I don't see how that. With four crispy wafers slathered in cocoa cream, then coated in rich chocolate, and then drizzled with even more chocolate, you're basically tasting 2,000 years of innovation. And boy, is it good. Yeah, okay. Stop! Stop. Don't need to see my ugly mug 24-7. It's okay. Well, you're show that <laughs> Don't need to see the inside of the wafer. Everybody knows what a wafer looks like. Well, it's just a wafer, but every place tries to act like what they got is better. It's like we have that in America. It's the say exactly the same thing. Chocolate wafer, not bad. Why don't you stop? Pomegranate jelly candy. <sighs> Tart and sweet and exceptionally chewy. Uh, pomegranate is dangerous, at least in Greek mythology. As the story goes, Hades, god of the dead, trapped Persephone, goddess of vegetation, in the underworld, leaving Greece with no crops. Hades eventually agreed to release her, but first he fed her some pomegranate. Uh, nice, right? Nope. Food was per forbidden in the underworld, so eating the pomegranate meant Persephone had to stay there for a portion of every year. That's how the Greeks explain the season. Fortunately for you, modern, modern Greeks actually consider pomegranate to be good luck, as well as a must-have for weddings and NYE parties. No idea what that is. That means you can go ahead and enjoy this juicy pomegranate jelly. No strings attached. It looks pretty. Okay, how interesting. Oh, geez. Well, it looks pretty. It's got tons of sugar on it. Is it sour? Mm -mm. No? Are you sure? Yeah, it's a... Okay. Oh, it smells nice, though. It doesn't smell strong pomegranate. I don't want to smell anything else. Don't you shove in my nose. Oh, yuck. I don't like the texture. Tough tits. It's not jelly. You bite into it and it like breaks up like mushy. Oh, oh. oh god, I don't want this next one. The taste is good though. It's really strong. Historical influences. Prickly pear Turkish delight. Greek leukomi inspired by a cactus fruit. We know what you're thinking. Why is this Turkish delight in the grease box? Well, both countries were once part of the Ottoman Empire. So they have a lot of cuisine in common. Okay, this is a pack of Turkish crappily. Look at that, it's just thrown in there. Sorry. Turkish delight, or lokomi, as it's known in Greece, is the perfect example. After spreading some Istanbul... Well, There's a powder like in here. After That's spreading nice. from Istanbul to Greece in the early 19th century, locals quickly made it their own. Take this yum. It tastes just like the fruit of the prickly pear cactus, a staple of the uh, Aegean Islands? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Vocabulary test. Because prickly pear is usually covered in spines, 
These bakumi jellies are the safest and most delicious way to taste right this iconic Greek flavor. There's the picture right there. Okay. All right. They are covered. Oh, oh no. That's very dangerous. Don't, yeah, put do this not down. put them. Yes. Here. Where? <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. I put it over this. Mm -hmm. No, that's not from me. That's a circle oh. that came from the package. <laughs> um, there's way too much powder on those. Mm -hmm. You can't taste anything else. Way too much powder. Okay, like literally, I need to fix this. Why does it keep and doing that flashy thing? Tastes like a Turkish light. Can't taste uh, the fruit. But I it's don't like it. Definitely like too much sugar. Okay, you know what? Then maybe I need to put this up because, like, I can't drag down here. Okay, I need it in front of my face. I don't care. Okay. I don't need to see my face twenty four seven. Um, almond crabidas cookies. Greece is famously cozy Christmas time treat. Um, okay, didn't know the hell about Christmas down there, but now we know. Um, if you received the turkey box in May, then you might think you're seeing double, but there is a subtle difference between Turkish and it is Greek kurabides, almond biscuits. Their shape, according to legend, when Ottoman Turks occupied Greece in the middle of the 15th century, kurabides cookies had to be baked in crescent wrapped in a homage, homage, I've never heard that one before, <laughs> to the Turkish flag. So homage. Oh. In homage, in like, in respect to okay, the Okay, then is the, the H not pronounced? Because it's I guess homage. homage. <laughs> so you say that digging into these round kurabides is a delicious way of celebrating Greece's independence since 1821. Okay, no, no. Coincidentally, they're also Greece's favorite way of celebrating Christmas. Okay, you're going to have to put this down as your... Mom, okay. will you calm down? Okay. It's super crumbly and powder, so put it so it protects your computer. Okay, no. How about you just don't put it in front of the camera? Like, they don't need to see every single thing. I care about my computer more than... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, these... Why does everything have so much powder on it? Can you, like... Maybe, like, cut it with the knife? Like, I don't want it... No, it'll eat... crumble. Hold on. No, okay, well, if we cut it over something, then we eat one slice, then it won't go everywhere. If I cut it... But if we bite crumbly, it, it'll go all like over a, me. It's like a Mexican wedding cake that's so crumbly. See? It's already falling apart. Yeah, I know, but if we cut it in there and I eat one piece, then it won't fall all over me when I bite into it. That's why I have the plates. Okay, no. Can you just cut it, please? Like, is it that hard? Yeah. Nope, more. Is it really that hard? Like, oh my God, not even. I'm gonna eat the. Oh. What is it even supposed to taste like? Almonds. Shortbread. It's like a Mexican wedding cake. Super that... dry, super crumbly. Oh my gosh, Reese, I'm sorry, but you suck. <laughs> they taste stuff? good. I oh, know these stuff are not satisfying me at all. They're stupid. <laughs> they taste good. Basil pesto breadstick bites. Um, Greek pesto baked into crunchy bliss. Oh look, we have a new brand, Kritsiniki. Kritsiniki, yes. Open this bag and you'll notice one thing: the scent of basil. That's likely what Alexander the Great noticed too, when he. <laughs> when he found basil dotting his newly conquered territory back in 326 bc soon after that it was the hottest herb of the greek elite Alrighty then some scholars believe it was only harvested by kings wielding golden siths who used it to make perfume ew perfume perfume smelling like pesto what the heck? <laughs> that might explain why basil comes from the Greek basilicon futon, meaning royal plant. Regal as it may be, we'll stick to something better than smelling like basil. Oh, smelling like basil. Tasting it in its crunchiest form ever. I thought it was supposed to be pesto. Now it's basil? Pesto means it's blended. 
to a fine paste. Okay. It smells like Italian bacon. Finally, something that is not crumbly. It's a hard breadstick, but it tastes great. Those are good. Mine is just, and I have them just sitting out. My master thought there was a seven point from moving in. Oh. Okay. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're good. It's like a breadstick you'd have at an Italian restaurant, but in bite size. Really but strong. everything is so dry. <laughs> but these are small and they taste really strong. Mm -hmm. They're good. We need a break. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Tasting language lesson. Tasty language lessons. Okay. I don't really make any sense, but okay. What are these letters on the side meaning? I have no so idea. Sticky. Peach jelly candy. Tastes fresh from the peach groves of Greece. Mm. What's in a name? In a case of peaches, their origin story. It's like the other one, but sticky. Alrighty. The word for peach comes from the ancient Greek word persikos. Per persikos? Hmm. Meaning Persian. That makes a lot more sense when you know that Alexander the Great is said to have brought peaches back from his conquest in Persia. Back then, they were called Persian apples. Call them whatever you want, but once you try these juicy peach jellies, we think you'll be too busy saying, mmm, to call them anything at all. Care to taste your theory? Okay, you corny. You all are corny. Stop, stop putting these corny stuff it's in here. It's just like the other one, but it's sticky. Um... I got some paper on there. Paper. No, there's no paper. It's just sticky. No. The paper. You don't like peaches, so it's all for me. Yeah, you can have that. I like this one better. Okay. Ornamental. Local icons. Tomato, olive, and oregano bruschetta. Fresh Mediterranean flavor in every crunch. Uh, one food all of Greece can agree on. Crunchy bread. Paximadia. Locals' beloved twice-baked bread was originally made for ancient sailors, soldiers, and shepherds due to its resistance to spoiling. But it soon evolved from particular, uh, from practical snack to countrywide craving. Oh my gosh, countrywide craving. <laughs> this is becoming a thumb twister. By 400 BC, over 72 unique types have been created. Today, the tradition is stronger than ever. It's dipped in soups, crumbled into Greek salads, and topped with veggies and herbs to make bruschetta or made into finger licking bruschetta inspired snack as you're about to taste. Um, isn't that the same thing? It's like a round crouton. Mm, it tastes like bruschetta. No, it's not like, I'm not just saying you can taste that. olives. Definitely taste olives. Like taste olives. Olives first. That's like a real olive. Okay, there's too. only four more left. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, those are real good. Because I love me some olives. Okay. Lemon shortbread pie. Ooh, we got pie. It looks like a cookie, like our magmoon. <laughs> Zingy, crumbly pie from northeastern Greece. Lemino pita. <clears throat> Quick, what comes to mind when you think of pita? A round bread pocket? A Greek gyro? Chips with hummus? Well, if you ordered pita in Greece, you wouldn't get any of those things. You'd get pie. In Greece, Arabic bread refers to what we consider pita bread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. While pita means pie or pastry. And there are plenty of pita options to choose from. From savory classics like spanakopita and torapita 
they that are filled with spinach and feta, just sweet varieties like honey-filled molepidas. Our favorite, this soft lemon pie. Gobbling it up is, well, easy as pita. Oh my goodness. Just take a bite. It's not crumbly. It's got, it's got like a jelly inside, see? Yeah. You didn't even get the lemon. See? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to take that big of a bite. Like... You didn't get it either. <laughs> Too far in there, want, man. I don't want lemon in my cookie. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not gonna be chewing on it that deeply. Okay, we need a minute to chew. I mean, if you please. It's Oops. kind of like a cookie. I mean, it's okay. It's dry. Everything is dry. That's why I tell everyone to bring a drink before they go in these videos. Okay, let me taste the lemon though. You gotta know about the lemon. <laughs> I don't like lemon, so. Do I see it? I can barely taste it. It's I don't like lemon. lemon. Oh my gosh. Oh, oregano potato chips. My famous tata spram. Okay. The crunchiest way to taste Greek oregano. While it's unclear where the Mediterranean oregano exactly originated, Greece can claim credit for its name. Oregano comes from a combo of two Greek words, oros, mountain, and genos, joy, which come together to mean joy of the mountain. What inspired the joyful name? Well, ancient Greeks believed that oregano was created by Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, who grew it in her garden in Mount Olympus. Just try to munch on these crunchy oregano dusted chips without feeling a mountain of joy. Smells Alrighty like then. Smell it. Smells like zappa. Um. It smells like oregano pie. I don't know what that smells like, but. They're good. I don't think they're too strong. I think they're perfect. They're nice snacking chips. They're good. They're not too strong. Yeah, I could think on those. They're good. Yeah. Okay. Strawberry and peanut nougat. I don't see any peanut on here. A chewy tradition from the Ionian Islands. Alrighty. If you've ever, ever had a Snickers, obviously, you've tried nougat and peanuts together. But you've never had them like this. The yum in your hand is the great grandpa of the nougat world. Since the 14th century, Greeks have been cooking it up with egg whites and honey. Ew. But without all the sugar that's typical of the fluffy nougat you know. The sweetness here comes from chunks of real fruit. In this case, strawberry. Ew. The next time you bite into your regular nougat candy bar, like Three Musketeers, Milky Way, or Snickers, you'll know exactly where the sweet evolved from. And you might just find you like it better old school. I don't think so. So it's got a wafer wrapped around it, and then the nougat's like inside. So it's like that chewy nougat, exactly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nope. It tastes. Oh, nope. I don't like that flavor. Oh. Sweet nougat, calm down. No, 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 no. I only taste a hint of strawberry. I don't taste very much. I don't like the taste of nougat. Well, you're not gonna like this one probably either, but. Well, uh, it's just a white nougat with a little hint of strawberry. Mm -hmm. Orange and chocolate tahini halva. The Greek dessert that'll change your life. I doubt it. If any Greek sweet ever comes close to being as iconic as baklava, <laughs> it's halva. <laughs> Though the crumbly. Confection originated in the Middle East, hence its name, derived from the Arabic halewa, or sweet. Every nearby country now has their own traditional preparations and customs. In Greek, hal halva is prepared with tahini, a paste made by grinding up toasted sesame. It's most, pop it's most popularly eaten as a fasting food by members of the Greek Orthodox Church, who made up a whopping 90% of the population. 
the version you're about to taste offers a fresh twist. It not only has tahini, but also uh, bright orange and rich cocoa. What they did is they used this as the mold. So when you look at it, it's like, oh, it's a pretty bump cake. And then you look at it, it's like a, a pile of poop. But then you're supposed to flip it out. Ah! <laughs> flip okay. it out, and it looks like the picture now. See? Ugh. What? Okay. Ugh. Oh my god. Chocolate and orange. Oh, it's soft. They won't. Oh, she cut me off. Oh my god, she literally looks like poop. <laughs> I don't see any chunks in there. I don't see any chunks in you it. Can't, you can't see it. You can taste it. No, but like the picture has chunks in it. But they lie. Mm. See, like, okay. there's like little bits and pieces. I like it because of the orange, but then I start tasting the aftertaste. It's kind of like a fruitcake and chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought I could eat it because of the orange, but... Nope. All right. Epic fail. Um, what was your favorite? Oh, I don't like that. Um, all the chips were fine, except for the tomato one. I didn't like that. Yeah, the paprika was. Yeah, the good. paprika one was not good. I think the oregano one was good. All the dry, the bruschetta was good. The dried chips, all the chips. Yeah, were good. all the chips were good except for the paprika. Okay, okay, what was the one that you will never, never want to touch again? Um, the definitely the. The nougat. The nougat? No, the nougat's good. I think it's No, I don't like the nougat. This is a no. Everything tried to choke me. I think just that one. The baklava was not good either. So, there's yeah, but that. I don't know who's going to buy a prepackaged baklava. Yeah, buy it that, fresh everywhere. no, it needs to be fresh. That, yeah. No. I don't know who would buy that. Especially in uh -huh. Greece. Greece would have it fresh every corner. Uh -huh. My father was probably over here cringing at that. <laughs> He's not listening. He's not paying attention at all. <laughs> He's in the mood, in the moment. Okay, so that was this yum box. Um, I think next we will try to find the Harry Potter butterbeer because uh, that was deliciousness. <laughs> and um, we'll try a couple different recipes. Yes, and so. Like, comment, and subscribe for these videos whenever I feel like it. Um, okay. Hey, stay true and do you. Okay. Bye.